Good day, viewers, and welcome to the Quality TV talk show. I am here today at a spiritual ground, so to speak. I am at the Zang Gospelers Church, popularly called Abana Rafael, here in Okitipupa, local government area of Wendelstein. And of course, I have as a guest this bright afternoon the spiritual head of the Zion's Gospelers Church my guest is Primate Dr. Joshua Akito the Aaron Ademimo second good afternoon sir. you're welcome same to you uh, viewers of course that is my guest and uh, between the two of us we were talking a whole lot of issues bordering on the administration of this church as well as secular topics too. Uh, Primate Dr. Joshua Akito, uh, I'd like to ask you sir, uh, did you have a prior knowledge of you taking over from the spiritual head of this church? Of course. Okay. I never nurture any ambition of becoming a head of any church organization before now. But I just saw myself being called upon to come and serve some six years ago. Mm. Um, we have had different narrative as regards the story of this church. Uh, can you please tell us how the story of uh, the Zanz Gospelers Church, Yeah, it all started um, some 48 uh, to 49 years ago, per se, on the 4th of May, 1972, when uh, my father, uh, late primate, Raphael Owoni Akinton, uh, had the call uh, to leave his uh, former church called the uh, Doctor's Road uh, to Kutubukpa. And he came to Kabiesi Lumure Naika and the Kabiesi Obagberume uh, of Ibodigo to seek for um, parcels of land that will enable him to serve God. So that was the genesis of the community called Okegbala, known as Agbala Rafael. So, and uh, here is the church we are talking about, Zion, the Zion Gosselas Church International, Okegbala National Headquarter, Ayeka Ibodigo, Okitukupa. You have been at the hands of the affairs of this church now for six years. Uh, how will you describe your experience? You mean? How will you describe your experience so far? <laughs> anyway, it's been tedious, not easy. You face a lot of challenges spiritually, materially, and all the likes. But uh, by the grace of God, we are moving ahead. And uh, God has been showing his mercy. So it's not my, my load. The, 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 the load is of God, and so it become easier. So we are, we are moving on. I'd like to ask, what, what are the qualities that you have been able to add to the day-to-day -day administration of this spiritual struggle in the past six years? Yes, to continue with my responsibility as a primate of a church, I use two instruments. One is Bible as my standard. Then secondly, the constitution that we use to register the church from Corporate Affairs Commission. So we have to hook into these two instruments that will serve as a guide. And uh, with those two, everything is moving forward. Would you say there have been challenges that you have encountered so far? Yeah, there are challenges. 
there are so numerous challenges. But one that uh, I want to mention is the area of um, hierarchy in the organization. Some people, you know, when they hold, you give them responsibilities in church, and there is an African indigenous church. They want to believe that we have been holding on to such position for a long time. So they want to see it as a permanent whatever. And it is against the constitution that establish the church. So we have to, as a learned person, we have to go back to the drawing board and try to analyze some issues and put a round peg in a round hole. So therefore, some people may be annoyed. Then, after some time, they see the light of the day. Then they, they, they adjust. So it's been like that. All right. Well, viewers at home, in case you are just joining us, this is the Polity Talk Show. And we are here at the Abala Raphael Zion Gospel Church, Okay Bala. And with me as a guest on this program today is the spiritual head of this church, Friday Dr. Joshua Akinto. So I'd like to ask you, how have you been able to undo this challenge that has to do with, you know, the youth of this church? Uh, my take is that this kind of a gathering, a whole lot of youths that have gone to higher institution would really want to find it difficult to want to identify with the order of service here. Uh, what steps have you taken so far to ensure that uh, you keep them within the, you know, firm hold of the church so that you don't lose them to other, you know, denomination? Mm. To the glory of God, we have as many graduates as possible in Zion Gospelers Church as today. And uh, most of them never find it uh, interested to move out of the organization. Because there are several innovations we have to harness into the development of the church. Uh, because we have mingled with some Christian denomination outside there during our days in higher institutions. So, and uh, we believe that none of them will come and help us to develop our own. So we have to remain as an insider to develop ourselves. So all those uh, fresh ideas, we brought them back uh, since these six years. Like, there is a directorate of the youth. We give them chances to at least perform different programs in the church that has never been before. Elders take all, but now it is time for the youth to really carry the mantle of God and perform their Christian uh, yes, uh, assignment to the letter. So there is youth directorate in the church, there is women directorate in the church, and there is this very important one, evangelism directorate. So and through that one, that evangelism directorate, we have been able to win more souls both inside and outside our community. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we observe that in this country, we have also observed that the more churches we have, the more the crime rate, the more increase is the the, 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 the more the more the level of the high rate of crime we have in the society. Can we say that the Church of God is not doing enough preaching against criminal activities among uh, its brethren, among members of the congregation? Thank you. I want to believe that churches are trying to preach the gospel, to turn the minds of these our youths against committing crime. But what can we say? Crime is as old as creation of the earth. Even among the 12 apostles of Christ, somebody sold Jesus Christ. And that was the greatest crime. But the, the joy we have today is that Jesus Christ died and he rose up the third day. And that is why we can be referred to as a Christian today. So what can we say? A lot of things has come uh, into the fabric of the nation to destroy the focus of the youth in the kingdom of God. But then we will still continue.
to at least preach the gospel and uh, make sure we turn their minds against evil. Thank you very much. Mm. In another two years from now, the Zaz Gospelers Church will be marking its 58th anniversary. Yeah. Beyond that, sir, where do you see this church in another five years? Yes, to the glory of God, like I always say, Zion Gospelers Church will have, would have moved across the border of Nigeria in the next five years. Because all these are our youths that are undergoing some trainings. We want to se send them into the diaspora to go and really explore, explore for the kingdom of God. And uh, we still hope that uh, there is a foundation we want to uh, establish for the church, both in Nigeria and abroad. And through that, we'll be, the church will be able to assist the less privileged ones. Like currently, we, 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 we put some students in school, we pay for them. Yes, like so, some, yes, community development service. So we, there are some of these youths that we, uh, we sign for uh, to, to learn acquisition. So, but our, we don't have much power to carry on as many people as possible. But with the assistance of a lot of people outside there, we we'll believe that a lot of things could still be done. Well, so. away, away from uh, church issues, Ondo State will be going to the poll to elect the governor in a matter of weeks, October 10th. Uh, we want you to, from the uh, perspective of being a man of God, we want you to advise the people of Ondo State as the governorship election approaches. Yes, my advice, because we have so many contenders that are aspiring to the seat of a governor of one of those states, but only one person will be allowed at the end of the day to go there. And how do we decide that? You just go out there and put your signature, you vote for them. Power of the thumb. Power of the thumb. So whosoever emerges at the end of the day, should be allowed to carry on the responsibility. But I believe that the blood of our youth is not worthy to be shared because of election. So every home should admonish their children to be cautious of their behavior and how they move during the election period. They should look at the party's manifestos and choose the rightful person. They, they so they would be uh, their choice into power come October 10th, 2020. And I, whosoever emerges at the end of the day, I pray that God should guide that person aright to lead on those states to the promised land. Thank you very much. Where well, you two you have heard it from the primate that your blood is so precious that it should not be shared because of election. Uh, that is all we will be able to have on the set of the Polity Talk Show today. And of course, I want to sincerely appreciate my guest, Primate Dr. Joshua Keaton, for giving us uh, the quality time to touch base with him as a girl's church issue. Thank you so much. Uh, I also want to thank my photo editor behind the camera, the Temida Yawotula, for doing a very good job there. Uh, until next time when we'll come your way again. This is the Polity Talk Show on the Polity TV Online, and this is what we'll do. We appreciate you for watching us and we plead that you keep watching the Polity TV online. I remain your host, your regular host, Steve Oviu. Thank you.